that's about the whole serum uh, biocon biologics uh, deal but let's move on ipca laboratories is the other one the street is definitely not happy with the fact that they are acquiring 30% stake in unichem labs remember that's a sizable acquisition but the stock is down about 10% ekta you were telling us earlier as to how you know unichem labs has barely grown in the last 4 to 5 years so that could be one of the reasons for disappointment Yes, uh, that's the reason why you're seeing, you know, Ipka Labs down around 10 odd percent. So the news is that Ipka Labs is going to be buying 33.38 percent stake in Unichem from the promoter at 440 rupees per share, which totals to around 1,034 crores that they will be shelling out, and they will buy an additional 26 percent stake via an open offer. Uh, which would be to the tune of around 805 crores totally in terms of a shell out. The purchase price of 440 rupees is a premium to what uh, Unichem closed at yesterday. Now, what exactly does Unichem bring to the table for Ipka Labs? Unichem, remember, sold its domestic business in 2017 to Torrent Pharma for 3600 crores. Now, 55% of Unichem's international business, which is what is the only thing which was left with them, is actually supplies to the US. Now, that becomes uh, they have three formulation facilities they have three api facilities and all of the facilities that supply to the us are us fda compliant so they don't have any regulatory issues as well now ipca has three facilities which are under the us fda scanner since 2015 so what this means is that they would get immediate access to the us with this particular acquisition something that they have been struggling with in terms of compliance since 2015 now the negatives for this and the reason why the stock is down 10 percent is that unichem has only been growing in low single digits in the past four to five years their margin profile has worsened so for example nine months fy 23 they incurred an ebitda loss of around 28.6 crores also they have a liability on one of their subsidiaries niche generics from the european commission valuation analyzing nine month numbers acquisition is done at an enterprise value of 2.5 times revenue Incred has indicated they are paying a high valuation for a loss making asset which is hence too expensive in their eyes so that's the reason why ipca is down 10 percent also there are questions that you have faced issues earlier in the past with uh, the us do you actually want to make it a you know core business again mm -hmm. and um, to whether or not you could actually have utilized the funds better and maybe even rewarded shareholders. Oh, absolutely. I think that's a main thing, right? I mean, people don't want to see uh, shareholder money, in a sense, being used for these kind of acquisitions that perhaps have not yielded returns in the recent past. So there you have it. That's Ipka Laboratories. Mankind Pharma, though, that's the other one in focus. There's a 4,300 crore rupee IPO open for subscription. Earlier today, we spoke with Rajiv Juneja, who's the Vice Chairman and Managing Director of Mankind Pharma, to discuss more about the IPO, the way forward, whether they're looking at exports at all or not. Listen into what he had to say. Gross margins of